Instead of taking a conventional impression, we can actually make a scan of the patient's mouth. Two advanced scanners in two starkly different sectors. Any interception between the camera and the reflector, it will be deemed as a defect. From reducing customers' waiting time to preempting machinery breakdown, two companies are on a drive to boost their operational efficiency. So patients take impressions for multiple reasons, uh, some of which include crowns, dentures and braces. It usually involves uh, mixing some material and placing it in the patient's mouth. When the material hardens, we take it out and then we get a copy of the patient's teeth. Often this cast is formed using alginate, a hypoallergenic material made from a mixture of different chemical compounds. Some patients, uh, they find it a little bit uncomfortable, um, especially the taste of it. Yeah, um, some patients have a gag reflex as well, so they tend to want to throw up. Dentists have been making alginate impressions since the mid-1800s. So after taking the impression, we have to send the impression over to a lab uh, to fabricate the next step of the procedure. Based on the impression, a dental cast of the teeth is produced at the lab. There are multiple steps involved, mostly done by hand. Usually the working time would be about four to five working days. Um, that excludes the courier time, delivery time, travel costs, transport. Sometimes uh, there are some laboratory errors and we do have to send it back to uh, make some changes. After the cast is sent back to the dentist for checking and confirmation, the repair work can begin. Named for the usual number of human teeth, T32 was founded by veteran dentist Dr. Wong Keng Mun in 2007. Partner Dr. Bruce Lee joined in 2013 and Chief Operating Officer Kevin Lee in 2019. Branding and digitalization is something that, like, like what we mentioned, is always gearing towards a better business for us. So we never are uh, afraid to, to embark into that. So we are constantly looking out for technology, digitalization that can actually look into like diagnostic, uh, better communication between ourselves and the patient. Within a decade, T32 expanded rapidly. Today, it manages 20 clinics across Singapore, Malaysia and Hong Kong. The expansion included a tech-enabled dental laboratory integrated with the headquarters. Business-wise, the, the lab is an integral part of the dental industry. Um, a lot of times, as patients, what we see is only dentists and, and clinics. But what's happening behind the scenes where we fabricate crown bridges and dental prosthetics happens at the lab. So you do need a lab to service the dental industry. T32's in-house lab uses multiple digital tools, such as a 3D printer, to create a cast. But a dental lab was just the first step. The management team decided to upgrade their existing hardware in the clinics as well by investing in a state-of-the-art gadget for one of the most important steps in dental prosthodontics. A 3D intraoral scanner that halved the time taken when doing impressions. So you, you can see the amount of effort that I increase my effort with every hit and it breaks to, to small shots. This is why it's called a safety glass because Although they can give you cuts, but they're all small cuts rather than deep cuts like, like this. I can use my hand to break this apart, but I can't with this. Tempered glass is the specialty of local SME Carlton Glass, which was started in 1987. When my parents first got married, during that time, my, my dad was a glass cutting apprentice since his teenage years. So when they got married, they decided to start up their own factory, start up their own business. 
Today, it's a family affair, with the second generation calling the shots. Rachel heads business development, while brothers Amos and Lewis manage the production. It has always been the motto of my dad to actually say that, you know, when we promise our customer to deliver this glass in three to seven days, make sure you really deliver it. The tempering process begins with ordinary glass, delivered in sheets ranging in size between three to five meters long. So this is 10 mm thickness glass, commonly used in homes, you know, which is your doors. They are mostly usually in this thickness. So they are really just raw form of glass that have to go through our processes to become a tempered glass. A typical day can bring in 500 orders. Our production workflow is fairly simple. So we start off with the inventory, and we load them on into a cutting table. We cut them to sizes based on the client's requirement. And after that, we will smooth out the edge of the glass for better handling of the, the glass. We'll wash them and they are in the waiting area just before the temporary process. The final destination is the furnace, the factory's heart. So uh, basically how this entire system works is there's a heating process and there's a cooling process. The glass is heated to about 700 degrees Celsius inside the furnace followed by a rapid cooling process. In layman terms, the, the glass surfaces, they are cooled down to create this tensile stress on this glass. Therefore, it will toughen the glass. That's why we call it a safety glass. However, such high temperatures pose a significant risk. The glass are heated up and they will be in a semi-motor stage and they are flowing through the conveyor front and back so to, to make sure the heat is evenly distributed. If the glass sheets contain tiny defects such as air bubbles, the heat applied on the surface will not be uniform, and this will result in what industry insiders call a thermal shock. And the glass will immediately explode due to the bubble inside the, the glass. When there's a glass breakage in the furnace, everything has to stop because the, the glass inside, it will melt over time, so it will destroy every single part of the, the furnace. It has to be immediately rectified. What, what, what we will do is open up the furnace, we will let it cool down. So it takes about a day time to fully bring down the temperature to room temperature for us to do the cleaning. The company was seeing three to four glass breakages a month, scrambling delivery schedules, until Amos found a tech solution in 2021. T32 runs 20 dental clinics across Singapore, Malaysia, and Hong Kong. The chain has adopted the latest 3D scanning technology in place of the old method when doing dental impressions. We adopted intraoral scanners in 2015. Prior to that, we were using analog impressions so as to interface between the clinic and our laboratory, which has been digital all this while. Since then, T32 has adopted newer scanner models with more advanced capabilities. You wear wrist braces, are you wearing your retainers? Sometimes. Yeah, I think it's important to wear a retainer so that we can maintain the teeth in this nice uh, position all the time. It's a digital camera where it's taking a series of photographs and the software actually stitches all these photographs together in a 3D format. With that, then we can actually show in real time to the patient in full colour. Typically, a full mouth scan takes less than 15 minutes. Definitely, the processing power of the scanners and the scanning speeds have increased tremendously. This particular scanner that we have is also scanning in full colour, so it helps us to communicate colour information. From the patient's perspective, the experience is much improved. They do not need to have stuff stuck in their mouth and they have to do this repeated times. So the experience of using the digital scanner, it is much cleaner, so there's nothing that I need to bite on. And I like that after that, I can actually see how my teeth look like. One of the scanner models that T32 is using currently is iTero, and it is manufactured by Align Technology, headquartered in America. 
do a bit of twisting and turning so that you know like just now the, the, the what you're seeing on the screen is basically 6,000 frames being actively pieced together to form out that 3D imagery in colour so in the monitor is where we house the latest computing powers as well as AI based features and with all that it allows us to scan um, really quickly this latest model also houses an X-ray capability. It can conduct a scan in under 60 seconds. So what you're seeing over here is detection of interproximal caries. So what it means by interproximal caries means that LEDK uh, that can be found uh, within the um, two structures. There's these white spots, this portion over here. This indicates that there is a possibility of uh, interproximal caries. How the dentists are typically doing it um, in the past or currently in the clinics, to detect caries, they have to use the X-ray machines. It's digital now, so everything is clean. It's much cleaner and the workflow is much more seamless. There is no more need to disinfect the impressions. Everything is done wirelessly, all right? So it's just an email away and the lab can pick off the work and continue with the job and start the job as soon as they receive that. At the lab, technicians can start work on the cast immediately after receiving the digital impression. This shaves the time taken for the entire process from five days to within a day. Carlton Glass is a manufacturer of tempered glass for commercial applications like doors and windows. Tempering is a process that strengthens glass by heating, then cooling it. But the smallest defects can cause the raw material to explode inside the furnace. Once that happens, the entire furnace has to be shut down for cleaning. The glass that causes this kind of breakage, uh, they usually have defects on them. In simple terms, we will call it air bubbles, so they are really very small. Some of them is visible to the naked eye, some of them they are not. Bubbles tend to form in glass that is contaminated by oil or moisture during the manufacturing process. The, the air bubbles are really quite common in the industry. We have been here for 20, 30 years and it's, a, it's quite a common occurrence. It, it just really depends on different suppliers on, and their quality of batches they are shipping into Singapore and into our factory. In 2020, Amos noticed an alarming trend. Breakages in the furnace were occurring three to four times in a single month, more than twice from before. The quality of raw materials had deteriorated. And it, it reached to a point that we do not really have the enough manpower capacity. So that's where I started you know, very actively researching online. I started contacting Vitrotron in May uh, 2021. Germany-based Viprotron manufactures state-of-the-art glass inspection scanners. Founded in 2004, the company has more than 300 scanners in operation worldwide. The concept behind the EcoScanner is to have a, an economical version of uh, a very complex system. The technology what we use, that is the line scan cameras. It is a camera but it only has a width of one pixel. It makes thousands of shots depending on the length of the glass, making a picture out of it. Each of the two cameras installed has 4,000 pixels vertically and horizontally. That's higher than an ultra-high definition OLED TV. The housing of the Eco Scanner contains the illumination and the camera. So the camera is looking through the glass into the light. The light is shining against the reflection tape, which throws back the light into the camera. And while uh, being thrown back, it passes the glass. With a strong high contrast light bouncing back, the camera can now capture a clear image of any defect on the glass. This is known as the bright field principle. Level. Yeah. Okay. Amos worked with Kyrol Anwar, yeah. a mechanical engineer from Hans Schick Glass System. The company is Viprotron's agent and tech support provider from the Asia-Pacific region. First, we have to install the frame actually to hold the, the scanners and then the reflector, which actually 
in the best position where actually it reflects back all the glass defects. You will not be able to see in naked eyes that you have a defects of 0.7 or 0.4 bubbles or scratches. So this is the super eye for the glass, which actually tell the, the operator that the, there are defects in the glass. Yeah, Just like a, a big microscope. After the images are captured, the scanner uses pre-programmed algorithms to classify the defects. We try to find out, is it a scratch, is it a pinhole in, in a coating? And for all these things, in, in the shape, in the intensity and so on, we have that algorithms and they lead to, let's say, a defect description. And of course, this has to be monitored for an operator at the production line or for the quality manager in the end for further action. Dental practice chain T32 is big on digital technology. The company adopted a more advanced model of the original 3D oral scanner. On the customer front, it also implemented a centralized server-based patient management system. This actually helps us to manage our doctor's times and our appointments. Every time a new patient comes in, we have the appointment book. We also color code new patient, existing patient, what treatment. If there are any additional medical requirements, example, because the patient's in for surgery, they need to stop their medication, is also indicated there. All customer info and dental records have been synced across its various Singapore outlets. The staff at different branches can pull these details out anytime. This helps because all of it's actually stored on servers. Patient records are backed up regularly, so we don't have a risk of losing that. And it's also easy for us to actually transfer a patient from one clinic to another clinic if there's a need to. This initiative to embark on a digital upgrade is important because the chain still has plans to acquire more clinics in the future, especially those in the heartlands. A lot of traditional clinics, clinics that have been operating for 20, 30 years, um, small one-chair, two-chair clinics still running on uh, physical books where you record all your uh, patient appointments. They still rely on white treatment cards. When we invest in a clinic, what we bring in is digital technology. Over time, we may look at how we can introduce some digital tools here to actually streamline the workflows to make it more seamless of across cases going from clinics to the labs. Carlton Glass is a producer of tempered glass. Inferior quality raw material was causing the product to shatter in the 700 degrees Celsius furnace and in turn halting the production line. Until the company began using a high-tech camera scanner to identify defects. The purchase and installation cost the company approximately 45,000 US dollars. It's a straightforward machine. So any defects that are on the glass, they'll be shown on the screen right here, which is over here. All these are defects, regardless of dirt, bubbles or scratches and any sort of, of, of that. There's a Y and X axis, which is uh, quite straightforward. I can enlarge it, so it, I mean, we can see the shape before we identify physically on the glass itself. It is a defect, so it's an air bubble, which is uh, very dangerous for our production. So, yeah, so it's quite accurate. Maybe maybe about 5 or 10 mm off, but you know, with our eyes, we are able to detect it quickly if we, are, we know the rough position of the defect. The scanner's proprietary software system also analyzes the collected data. So the pie chart helps us to identify the total number, which is 198, so we are half a day in already. So the, the green one will be the one that is completely free of defects. The red ones are the one that, that the scanner picks up any defects. So, everything that you can think of, but not all unnecessary air bubbles that, that we deem as dangerous. This 154 uh, red color, you know, dangerous products, uh, we will have a look at them one more time just to determine that, that, that it's free from air bubbles. The production team currently identifies about 10 pieces of glass with defects every day, out of approximately 400 sheets that go through the scanner. 
having the scanner to be in our process itself actually has greatly helped us in having to clean the machines and the downtime of it. The team has managed to bring down the rate of glass breakages from three to four times a month to once every two months. That is over 200 hours saved per month from having to clean out the furnace. Apart from employing a new tech solution in the factory, the company also installed a back-end ERP, or Enterprise Resource Planning software, to support the growing sales department. The sales department will actually need to know where is the production stages, when actually customer call in to actually ask for say, hey, you know, where is the, where's the glass? Uh, is it going to be ready in really three days time on that? So all this information they are able to actually see from this page itself. And you can see that there is an estimated delivery time. So over here you put there on the date itself, the moment when it's actually overdue, in the first page itself, it's highlighted up and my staff will need to actually go out to the production and chase, hey, where is this piece of glass? Where is it at? We want to deliver always on time. Moving forward, Rachel hopes to exploit the company's tech solutions by collecting data from the production floor. We are thinking of adopting a tech solutions into different departments in the production itself that we want to make it as hands-free as possible, but we know that it is not possible in a way that totally hands-free, so it's like a semi kind of adopting the technologies into different departments that how are we able to from point A of after cutting and turn it all the way out to the tempering site to just load it up using robotics. So all these are in the pipeline of having to do it in the next couple of years.